me get interested being basic. What is that you talk about? Just just playing your game. Where are you most comfortable? Where do you feel like you can you know, maybe impact for this team right away? Yeah, I would say as like just a creator. Um, whether that's shots for me or shots for other guys, I think I can I can move defenses just make the simple plays that, that guys almost aren't willing to make all the time. Um, so I think just playing simple and just getting my teammates involved and then you know defensively just playing super hard, diving on loose balls, taking charges, boxing out, like doing all the little things that you know you, you see guys just kind of look over because they want to be more flashy or you know get it for publicity and social media and stuff like that. I think guys look over it but it's the stuff that is really going to help teams win, and that's what I'm here to do is just help the team win. The other thing I want to ask is just you know, Coach Woodson has always said he's, he's probably the roughest on his point guards. He's probably hardest on that position in the way that he coaches guys. Just, you know, where has he challenged you? Where has he pushed you? And how do you feel like you've gotten better working with him? Yeah, I would say he's just very tactical um, with how he wants you to do things. Um, so, you know, sometimes I might come off the ball screen and, you know, only take one probe dribble, and he would bring me over and say he wants me to take two. So, like, I mean, it's just very specific on what he wants you to do. And, you know, once you start watching film on, on you know, the differences that it makes, then I think you start to see what he's seeing, and it allows you to just trust him even more. Gabe, I promise all easy ones, man. Yeah. Here's your shot. You look like a million bucks. How about that? If you want to hold or you can say it doesn't matter. I, I left my stand in the car. You're good. On my SUV. And Gabe, we only do positive, so no, no trick questions here. So you'll see us during the season. So let me move this over a closer to you. Gabe, you heard IU main today, so you're new to the program. How'd you get here? Um, I mean, that's a pretty big question. I would say mostly just through hard work. Um, you know, I've been in the gym. I've been in our basement, you know, with my dad just doing ball handling drills. Um, you know, when I first kind of got here, I just thought about all the work that I had done and also all the opportunities that I've been lucky to have, you know. You know, my parents and my family put me in the, the right positions to, to make an impact and show people what I can do. Um, and then just, you know, God's just been able to, you know, move me around and put me here. So I'm just grateful for it all. Gabe, you're a guard. Great guard played IU for years. I mean, you're going to have guys reach out to you during the season that you probably grew up or, or even your parents would be idols to them. But what's it like being here at IU to know that you're part of this special program and a special institution? Yeah, it's amazing. Um, like I said, I'm just super grateful for it. When we took our team picture today, like it always, you have kind of those moments where it like sets on you. Like, and I'm playing, I'm about to play for Indiana like as a basketball player. It's, it's crazy to think about. And, you know, growing up, you obviously say you want to, you know, play Division One, but. You know, in the back of your head, you know, you, you don't really know if it's going to happen. So um, I think that allows you to, you know, continuously work really hard. And, you know, now that it's happening, you just got to keep going. And what's next now? Gabe, what's the favorite, your favorite part of your, the, your game, okay? Is it ball handling? Is it passing? Is it scoring? What what does, what's what's something you like to do and what how you'll fit in here with the team? Yeah, I would say creating. Um for myself or for other guys just the creation I think it's it's cool to watch um, you know how guys get open how guys slide and move um, and you know just picking up our defenses I think is it's kind of cool to see you know I kind of like math and you know stuff that has a direct answer so I think that's something that I kind of you know look at basketball like it's pretty cool to watch how defenses move and how these cuts will make them move there and then you can you know, kind of pick them apart and just create shots. It sounds like maybe a future coach. I mean, Gabe, <laughs> is there something, I mean, what do you want to get out of this experience besides playing at the highest level? I mean, what are your career aspirations? Yeah, I mean, I want to play in the NBA. It's been my dream. Um, you know, I think, I think being at Indiana is a really good step to get into that dream. So um, I'm just going to work as hard as I can. Whatever happens, it's going to happen. And then, 
we'll go from there. Last question. What's family mean to you, Gabe? Everything. Um, you know, every time now that I talk to my parents or talk to my sister, um, talk to my grandparents, you know, I've been texting them just telling them how grateful I am for them and that I wouldn't be here without any of them. So I love them. I appreciate everything they've done for me, and I want them to feel um, like they've done something, and they're a part of this, too. Thank you. Let me get a good picture of you. Let me get a good Instagram picture, okay? I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Gabe, coming in your freshman year, what's been your kind of focus this off season? What have you been working on individually? I would say just learning as much as I can, um, and I've been working a lot with – with Isaac and you know all the other coaches and players on just finishes around the rim, floaters, and then just making my jump shot consistent from the college range. Um, obviously, it's a few feet back, but you know that can make a big difference on the arc of how you got to shoot. Um, so, you know, just going against guys in practice has been the big, the best thing for me to to improve. Um, I think those have been you know more important than all my workouts and stuff like that. You know, just going against X every day has been super good for me. And, a learning experience. Seems like you've been in the national spotlight your whole career. I mean, even since you were fifth, sixth grade playing on the Chips, uh, Blue Chips team. How does that help you now playing in Indiana where you're going to be on national television almost every game? How does that playing on that spotlight from that young age help you now? Yeah, I think it allowed me to, you know, kind of learn how to deal with, um, you know, pressure and stuff like that um, of people and media and stuff like that. So um, I learned how to deal with that at a young age and so now I've just been able to practice it and get better at it um, since then. So now I think, you know, obviously it still has a little bit of an effect on you, but, you know, it's all about just getting better than for the next time. So I think, you know, I've consistently gotten better at it. Obviously freshman year, there's a lot of returning guys. Xavier Johnson who plays the same position as you. What are your expectations year one? I mean, I don't know. I It's hard to have expectations on stuff, but... You know, I'm just hoping that, that we have a lot of fun, that we win a lot of games. Um, whatever that that is and whatever it requires, you know, I'm willing to do. And, but I just want to win, and I want to have fun with these guys. What about Coach Woodson made you want to come here and play for him? Yeah, I mean, I would say just his knowledge of the game. He's seen so much, you know, at the NBA level and here, um, you know, as a player even too. So, I mean, he's obviously super – biggest thing it like stood out to me that he was super loyal to the people that have been there for him um you know just him wanting to come back here and bring indiana back to where he believes it should be um you know i think that that speaks a lot to his character and his loyalty to to the program all right last question uh came in with Mackenzie McBacco and a ton of other transfers. How has your relationship been with uh, those guys, the new it's guys been, coming in with you? Yeah, it's been good. I mean, I think we're, we're all trying to figure out the same things, and we've been able to help each other do those things. Um, and obviously, we, we spend a lot of time off the court together, too, so it's been good just to, to be able to you know, get to know them personally, and then that also transfers onto the court, you know, being able to play well together. Thanks, Gabe. Yeah, thank you.